Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Create with Kayla. So today we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree office space DIY decor. I just hope that you enjoy these DIY projects. Uh, it's going to be a part two series. So just stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, so for this first project, we're going to do the cork board. So what you're going to need is two packs of cork, some foam boards, some any kind of tape. I ended up switching tape and some paint of your choice. So right here, I'm just sticking these cork papers to the foam board. And you can stick it however you want. Just make sure that they're really nice and neat. All right, so next I'm just gonna cut the cork piece off of the foam board, and then you're just gonna trim off the excess foam board that you can see. And then you're gonna get right into taping. You can pause this video anytime you like. I just put different pieces of tape around. Um, you can do it however you like. I ended up using electrical tape. Alright, so here I'm just putting double tape because I want my lines to be a little bit thicker. And after this, you're just going to get into painting. You can choose whatever color you like. I use this chalk paint from Walmart. It's $1.26. It's not from the Dollar Tree, but it is $1.26 at your local Walmart. It is the Waverly brand. I do like how this paint looks. I will be using this paint a lot. And you just dab it on there. I found it better if you dab it first and then wipe it. Alright, now I'm just finishing up painting. Next you're going to be let it dry and I do have another project to go with this. Um, what you're going to do is just let it dry and then as you can see I'm ripping off the tape. My favorite part. All right, and the, here is your final look. I did get a little bit of a smudge on there, but we're gonna cover it up with this right here. So the next project is gonna be these little DIY thumbtacks. So I like the wood look, and I'm just gonna paint some of the wood on it black so we can stick our sticky notes and everything inside of the cork. Okay, so while that is drying, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some thumbtacks and glue, and we're just gonna put the thumbtacks on the back of one of the wood pieces. So these are gonna act as your thumbtacks for your cork board. And you just put the glue on the tack and then just stick it to there. Alright, so here's your finished product. So 
So next we're going to be creating these little hanging shelves. So what you're going to need is some paints. And I got these little tins from the Dollar Tree. They were in the garden section. I just like the way they look. So what I'm going to do is paint these black, of course. Alright, so next what we're going to be doing is we're going to drill a hole inside of the tin. Um, make sure you put two holes on each side. It was a little tedious. Um, these bins do fold, so you can always bend them back if you put a little bit too much pressure on them. Okay, next we're going to put the twine through the holes that we drilled. This was a little hard, so what I did was I cut a long piece of string and then I put the string through the hole and tied a knot. So I started on the inside first. Okay, so here you see me tying that knot. And then we're gonna keep this all on one side, the left-hand side. You start on the left-hand side and you continue going up and up. And So here I'm just looping it again through the second bin and you're just going to loop it through the inside and then tie it once again wherever you want it to stop. And there is my knot. All right, here I'm just tying a knot to know where I want the next fin to stop. All right, now to the last bin. So what you're gonna do is hold it up and see if those are the right measurements. If not, just retie it. So right here, I'm just measuring how far from the top I want it to 
hang. I do apologize that you can't see that part. I'm going to learn how to step back when I'm making videos. Sometimes I forget. But also you're going to do like you did on the same side. All right, now down to the last one, you're just going to finish and tie a knot through that, and that'll complete this DIY. All right, so this next project is going to be some, like, little accessory holders, like paper clips and thumbtacks or whatever you need. So what you're going to do is get these Dollar Tree boxes. They're round boxes you can get in the craft section. You need some glue and some paint, so I'm just going to glue these together. Alright, next, um, after the glue dries, what we're going to do is paint the rims of the boxes the top of the boxes so I like the look of the rims black and the inside brown um, you can paint them all the way if you like but this is just how I like it for my style So what I also did off camera was I painted the the bottom pieces to the boxes. Um, I'm just going to use those as extra holders or another piece of decor. Alright, so this next project is going to be a pin board, a wire pin board. All I did was use spray paint and I painted one of these little Dollar Tree wire baskets. You can use paint to paint it, but I just chose to use spray paint because it was faster. Alright, for the next DIY, you just need a vase and a placemat. I thought this placemat was very, very cute. So, what you're going to need to do is glue the end of the placemat and just roll your vase on top of it.
the first knot to the end just glue the end of the piece and wrap it around and you have yourself a cute little vase Alright, so for this next day, we're going to be making some coasters. I am going through this pretty fast. Sorry, this is a lengthy video. But you can just use these little palettes and Jenga pieces and these squares to make you some cute little coasters for your dreams. I'm incorporating my black and wood into my design so you can just color these any color you'd like to but just color the box and then let them dry colored some of the brown Jenga pieces because I wanted them to be black. This is going to act as a different coaster. So for our first coaster, those black blocks that we painted, uh, we're just going to stick these to the back of this and it's going to act as a stand for the coasters. For the next coaster what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all of these black pieces together on one side and then I'm going to glue the wood jingle pieces together on the other side.
I'm just going to put some tape onto this because as you can see I have some white spots and brown spots. So I'm just going to wrap this with some tape and then go back over it with some black paint. Alright, so for this last coaster, I'm just going to paint the top of it black. Um, I'm just going to skip some wood pieces and paint them black. All right, that's it for our high-end office dollar tree decor. I just want to say thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this is the way that I like it to be done. You can change it and customize it how you want to, but thanks for watching.